hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to make a timeline design for website using html and css in this timeline design i have added some animation using css when i scroll the website you can see the vertical line moves downwards then it display each content one by one with animation this web design is responsive for small screen devices you can see it looks good in small screen also so we will make this animated vertical timeline website design using html and css step by step but before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel easy tutorials now let's start this video here in this folder i have one html file one css file and another folder called images and in this folder you can see some logo you can find all these images download link in the video description now let me open these code file with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structure and this one is the css file in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file now we will add the code within this body tag here we will create one div with the class name timeline inside this div we will create another div with the class name container and let's create one more div with the class name text box in this text box we will add one small title in h2 so this will be the company name then we will add the time duration in a small tag it is 2018 to 19 then we will add some text in p tag after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser you can see these text on the web page let me close this browser and I will open this browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again but the URL has been changed. Now we will come back to the code file and come to the CSS file. Here we will add the body and for this body we will add the background. We will add one dark color here. Then we will add the class name timeline. For this timeline, we will add the position relative, then maximum width and some margin. After that, you can see the change color for the background and we have a space for this text, 100 pixel space from top. Then let's come back and copy this class name container and for this container, we will add some padding. Then we will add position relative and width, it will be 50%. And let's add the background here, here we will add this color code so you can see it is in the 50 percent width with the background color now let's come back and we will add the css for this text box in this text box we will add some space so we will add the padding and we will change the background color it will be white position relative then we will add border radius so the corners will be round then font size you can see it is in the white color now we will duplicate it to create multiple contents so just duplicate this container now we will update the company name and time this is the third one and this is the fourth content You can see these four content here it is all in 50 percent width next we have to move alternate content in the right side so just come back and here we will add the class name left container and in the second one we will add right container now in the third one we will add left container and in the fourth one right container like this now just copy the class name left container write it here in this css file and for this left we will add left 0 and for the right container we will add left 50 percent so it will start from the 50 percent from the left side so you can see two contents in the left side and two contents in the right side after that just come back and we will add the logo so here we will add the image with the file path so this is the first company logo let's add the logo in the second one then in the third one and in the fourth content 
After adding this, again come back to the website. You can see these logo just above the white box. So we have to change the size of these logo and we will change the position. So just come back. Here we will add that class name container and in this container we have the img tag. So here we will add the position absolute. Width will be 40 pixel and border radius 50%. Then we will add right 20 pixel, top 32 pixel and z index. After that you can see it is in the right side but for the alternate content we need it in the left side which is for the Amazon and Toyota. So just come back and here we have the class name right container. In this right container we have the img. So for this image we will add left minus 20 pixel. After updating this you can see these two logo in left side for the second and fourth content. Now we will add one vertical line. So just come back and here we have the class name timeline write it here here we will add double colon after and in this after we will add content then we will add the position absolute width will be 6 pixel and height will be 100 percent after that we will add the background white and top zero left it will be 50 percent and we will move it by 3 pixel so we will add margin left minus 3 pixel and we will add the z index minus 1. now you can see this vertical line here. Next we will remove the background color that we have added in the container. So just come back and remove this background. Now it looks clear. After that we will change the font weight of the title and we will add some space just below the uh, time. So here we will add this class name text box then h2. So for this h2 we will add the font weight then write this class name and write a small. For this a small text we will add display inline block and margin bottom. It is 15 pixel. So we have a space here. After that we will add different arrow in the left side and in the right side div. So just come back and uh, in this text box after this p we will add one span and in this span tag we will add one class name left container arrow. We will design this span as an arrow. Just copy this one and add it in the third one. Like this left container arrow and let's add it in the second one and we will change the class name right container arrow and in the fourth one again right container arrow. After that let's copy this class name left container arrow write it here and here we will add the height and width it will be zero. Then we will add the position absolute, top 28 pixel and z index. Then we will add border top, it is 15 pixel, solid and transparent. Then we will add border bottom, it is also same. Then we will add border left. These borders will create one right arrow. After that we will add right minus 15 pixel, it is the position of this arrow. So you can see these arrow in red color. Let me come back and change the color. It will be white. You can see these arrow here in the first and third one. Now duplicate it and here we will change the class name right content and here we will just update this border right and instead of right we will add left. That's it. After updating this you can see this arrow in the second and fourth content. After that we will add to other content also so just come back to the html file and we will duplicate this container this is the fifth and sixth one here we will change the company name and uh, we will change the logo here also we will update the company name and logo and in the fifth one we will change the class name left container and it is also left container arrow that's it now you can see the fifth content Flipkart in the left side and YouTube in the right side. After that we have to add animation so just come back and here we have the timeline after. So in this one we will add the animation. Let's add one name move line. It will be for 6 seconds linear and forwards. Here we will add a space and write keyframes for this animation. Keyframes move line then 0% and at 0% we will add the height 0 
at 100% we will add the height 100%. That's it. After that come back to the website again. And you can see if we refresh the website, this line is growing towards down. Let's refresh the website again. You can see it is going down with animation. Next we will animate the contents which is in the left side and right side. So we will come back to the CSS file again and here we have the container. So here let's add the animation. We will add any name, move down, one second linear and forwards. Then we will add opacity zero. So initially it will be hidden. It will be visible whenever animation will start. Here we will add keyframes, move down 0%. At 0% it will become opacity one and transform translate by minus 30 pixel. Let's duplicate it and change it as 100% and at 100% translate y will be zero. That's it. After updating this, come back to the website again. You can see all the contents are moving down at the same time. So we will add different delay in each content. So it will display the content one by one, one after another. So just come back and here we have the container, write this container here, then we will add colon nh child one. So it is the first container. In this one, we will add animation delay zero. Let's duplicate it. It will be nh child two, three, four, five, and six. So for all the container, we will add different animation delay, which is one second, two second, three second, four second, and five second. You can remove this first child where I have added the animation delay zero because it is by default zero. So just come back to the website and here you can see it will display the content one after another. So here we have two animation. The line is moving towards down. Then the contents are also moving down one by one. Let me open this web page in a smaller screen. You can see this line in the center. So we have to move this line in the left side. So just come back, remove these extra spaces. And here we will add media query, media screen and max width. It will be 600 pixel. In this one, we will add that class name timeline. For this timeline, we will reduce the margin. Then we will add timeline after. In this after, we will add left 31 pixel. So it will be in the left side like this. Now just come back and here we will add the class name container. And for this container, we will increase the width 100%. Earlier it was 50%. Then we will add padding from the left side and padding from the right side. Now you can see increased width for this content. Now just come back and here we will add the text box. And in this text box, we will add font size then text box small here we will reduce the margin bottom it will be 10 pixel next we have to move the right content in the left side that is the second fourth and sixth content here we will add right container left zero so you can see all the contents are aligned at same vertical line next we have to fix the position of logo so just come back and here we will add left container img and right container img for both image we will add the same position which is left 10 pixel you can see all images at perfect position now we will change the position for these arrow icons so let's come back and here we will add left container arrow and right container arrow in this one we will add the border right 15 pixel solid and white color and border left zero then left minus 15 pixel that's it after that you can see perfect position for these arrow also and you can see this animation in a smaller screen also so this is looking very nice in a smaller screen and the full width with animation so finally we have completed this vertical timeline design using html and css I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो